or he can pass you into being dizzy. And he's able to get it back. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers closing out the quarter ahead by 11 points. And it's all due to their ability to own the paint. They've been dominant down low. More NBA on 2K Sports right after this. And now we have a moment to reveal our State Farm assist of the game. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. Served him up a tasty room service. He's deciding to change it up. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Lakers. LeBron, guys, their play close to the hoop has been great all game. Their second chance points have been a story all night as well. That's just pure hustle. You know, it really seems strange to say, but as big an impact as LeBron's made as a basketball player, he's making an even bigger impact off the court. His philanthropy, his activism. Tell you what, this guy's a special person. I really believe he's going to be a case study of how an athlete can leverage his stardom, his celebrity, his resources in a way that leaves a lasting, impactful legacy for many, many years to come. Devin Vassell out there with DeJounte Murray. Then it's R.J. Barrett, and it's Primo in at the three, the small forward. That's who's in the game for the Spurs. You know, brick after brick after brick. I mean, that's been the story for him this quarter. I mean, he's got to brain it in down the stretch here. After a brutal first half from the field, their shots are finally starting to fall. James, outside, launches it, knocks down the triple. Give him 35. You know, I think the passing skills of LeBron are his greatest asset, and he's got some great ones in addition to that. But his passing is otherworldly. When you get open, he gets it to you with exactly the right speed and pace so you can handle it. And even from where we're sitting, you can clearly tell it was a foul. No question about it. I mean, a ton of contact and a good call by the officials. At the line for San Antonio, taking two shots. First free throw is good. So both teams making some changes here. He does not get the second one. Los Angeles has gone two of six so far in the fourth. Pass to Simons. Here's Morgan. Puts up a three. And the Lakers hit again from deep. Backing up that last three with another three. The defense has to stop giving them so many clean looks. Murray. And it's Murray finishing it off. Yeah, you know, Murray plays with an intelligence and a poise that belies his years. I mean, this guy rarely forces things. He's very good at allowing things to come to him. And this has a nice rhythm and pace he plays with. And Davis slams it home. There's no stopping that. A.D. is too long and strong to bother that alley-oop. For San Antonio, they've gotten 8 of 13 shots to find the basket in the fourth quarter. Davis against Murray. Here's Primo. Puts up the 8-footer, and he connects with a jumper. As bad as he was in the first half, that's how good he's been since. Los Angeles has gone three of seven from the perimeter during the fourth. Here's Morgan. Pass to Davis. Let's it go from 11. And the Lakers tack on two more. You know, unlike a lot of bigs, Davis doesn't have to operate inside. He's totally confident in his ability to do damage from the perimeter. Here's Barrett. 
Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's going to be on Anthony Davis. I like that. I mean, some physical play inside. He's not about to give up any easy basket. And, you know, the defense gets their money's worth on that foul, stopping the layup and not giving up the and one. And he knocks down the first one. And there it drops him low. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. Take a look at the New Balance player of the game. And I'll tell you what, this was one easy pick for sure. From the start, he looked in total control for the entire game. It's incredible to see a player outperforming everyone else on the court. Well, he's getting in a groove at the perfect time, just as they're getting ready to do battle in the postseason. The Lakers in the lead. Pass to Morgan. The shot that time, not on target. Good offense squaring up against better D there. You got to appreciate that stop. Here's Primo. Check by James. 4-3. Primo can't hit. I understand why he took the shot. They need the points, but that's just not a good look. Here's Morgan. Cartwright with a rebound. Here's Primo. Checked by James. Pass to Cartwright. Here's Primo. Off target with the three. Los Angeles has gone three of seven from the perimeter during the fourth. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Here's Morgan, guarded by Barrett. And again, no good by the Lakers. Yes, and it's Murray picking up the assist. Murray's got his fifth assist in this one. He's somebody that's really comfortable carrying the offensive load. Pass to Simons. Here's Morgan. There's a minute 34 left in the fourth quarter. San Antonio trailing here. A three. Barrett knocks it down from distance. Barrett's got 11 points in the quarter. Cool, calm, and collected at a critical juncture in this game. Here's Morgan. Back to James. Pass to Morgan. Go! That's another bucket. Once again, he's reached the 40-point mark as there has been no slowing him down this year. And with all these 40-point performances, he is close to matching the mark for third most 40-point games in a single year. Time called here. San Antonio decides to talk it over. They're down by five. 
A minute nine left to play in the fourth quarter. And the Spurs making a change here. The Cells checked in. The Lakers also with a sub. Davis has checked in. And let's send it over to Allie LaForce. Over the last break, I got a chance to hear what Greg Popovich was telling his team. He told them victory was within their grasp, saying, quote, you've got all the tools you need to win. Now it's about closing. Guys, we'll see if they're up for the task. And Allie, thanks. Left side, Davis. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Hey, you know, this is really the challenge of trying to defend Davis because not only is he tall and smart, but he's gotten stronger in his time in the league. He typically blows through contact and draws fouls. the first one and that gives him a four-point cushion you know I tell you what you can make a case he's the best player in the league Davis is really the total package both ends of the floor and he continues to get better and he's unable to get the second one absolutely no room for error everything has to almost fall perfectly for them to pull this out Pass to Vassell. Off with the layup. And he commits Stay the away. intentional foul. That's his third personal foul. 14 foul. He gets the first. Two and foul. that puts him up five. LeBron James. Two. Second one is good. Getting both at the line. And it's a six-point ball game. He doesn't waste a chance to pad their lead. It's been some solid free throw shooting. It all comes down to this possession. They must get points. It really does come down to this. I mean, come up empty, and it's over. This is how you force a defense to collapse. Kick the ball right inside. And the Lakers have possession. They held a 12-point lead earlier. That's his first personal foul. He drops the first one, and that puts him up five. Shooting for Los Angeles. Anthony Simons at the line for two. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a six-point ball game. Time called here. San Antonio decides to talk it over. They're trailing by six. 26 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. gets free t-shirts. Let's see who's the loudest. from the inbound. Oh, he nails it! What a beautiful shot! Brings him within three! Slow reaction from the D, and it cost him three. And now we've got an intentional foul. Yeah, no choice but to foul in that situation. Although, that's not the guy you want to send to the free throw line. But there was no time really to be selective. Stopping the clock was the priority. And that makes it a two-possession game now. Those could turn out to be vital free throws. And here are the Spurs now. Now Murray. On the wing, Vassell. And it's off from three-point range. And now they decide to foul intentionally. That's his fourth personal foul. Ooh, he doesn't hit the first. That was the one they really wanted. He's got one more, though. Two shots. And the second of two is good. And that increases the lead to six. To the wing, right side. Murray from outside. Off target. 
So we see the Lakers get the win here. This was a hard-fought, well-earned victory for them.